Today I wanted to talk to you about food. Food when you're detoxing and the importance of the right kind of food to aid you in the detox process. But um, obviously a lot of us have to ease into um, this type of food because we're all used to eating um, food that doesn't that's not meant for human consumption and we can't really even digest it properly. So I want to give you some suggestions on what kind of food you can eat and how to introduce these foods and what foods to um, avoid during detox. Uh, so first I would suggest to everybody because it's easier for most people to change their lifestyle, food, what kind of food they eat, rather than other things like their lifestyle. I want to suggest that the first thing you can do to, to start your detox process is to start eating raw food, more raw food per day. So one of your meals can be 100% raw and I suggest it to be breakfast because breakfast is a very important it's a it's a break fast so you're breaking your fast so it's very important for the first thing you eat to be cleansing and um, I would suggest you eat fruit for for breakfast and you can make smoothies um, you can just eat pieces of fruit you can make a juice, you can do m many kinds of fruit salads, um, just make sure that you're not over um, combining and combining um, fruits that would just not make you feel good the rest of the day. But yes, so if you include fruit in the morning, it's just incredible if you do nothing else, do that. But you can also include a salad during your lunch or dinner with whatever you're eating. And if you're brave enough, you can just do a salad and see how that goes for you. So adding more raw food into your diet will help you immensely and the more you can handle the better and the more fruit you can because that's the most cleansing raw food that you can eat the better so the next thing i would suggest is for people to start eliminating some of the things that are very very um, bad for the body for example um, artificial flavorings in food like artificial sweeteners and things that you can't even pronounce on the labels. So read your labels, please. And also refined sugars, any type of white sugar or high fructose corn syrup. All of those things are good to eliminate from your diet. And then um, I think fried food is very, very damaging for the body because it's basically heated oil which causes all kinds of issues in the body. So if you can, when you cook, if you can add the oil after you cook the food, that would be much better. Or um, cook it on a low heat or um, cook with oils that have higher um, boiling uh, melting points so coconut oil, avocado oil those oils are better to use for cooking and they're less refined than some of the other ones and so after eliminating the fried foods um, you can start eliminating some of the bad habits that things that you ingest in your body that also really um, don't help 
your body in any way, which is um, drinking alcohol, smoking, smoking of any kind, because smoke is very acidic, so when you smoke, you actually, no matter what it is, you're acidifying your body. So smoking definitely is good to eliminate. So there are some things in your lifestyle that you can change, which is, for example, stress. Stress is very toxic to the body, and I know this is harder to do, but it's important to get a lot of these things out of the way before we can really embrace the detox process with more and more raw food. So the next thing I would eliminate once you improve your lifestyle as much as you can, once you start surrounding yourself with the right people, who aren't judgmental of your of um, your process, of your detox process, of what you want to do for yourself, for your health, then I would say the next thing you can start eliminating from your diet is dairy products. So cheese, milk, sour cream, yogurts, all of that. Um, dairy is very acidifying for your body. It's one of the most uh, acidifying food because it creates mucus and it blocks a lot of things in your body and it's hard for the body to actually start and for the lymph system to start eliminating all of the mucus that dairy foods form and it also they contain certain proteins that our body can't handle so we're not meant to drink milk uh, for that long, maybe for the first, uh, the first year or two of our life, but after that we're not meant to drink our mother's milk, let alone a milk of another species. So yes, get rid of any dairy products. And after dairy products, if you're a meat eater, you can also start to eliminate meat. And that could be hard, but there are a lot of yummy alternatives, vegan alternatives to meat. There are a lot of incredible vegan burgers out there, and um, people can mimic cheese so well nowadays with raw cashew cheese. It's just incredible raw nut cheeses and seed cheeses, so you can also make um, raw cashew sour cream, and yogurt, you can make coconut yogurt, all kinds of things that taste like dairy or even better. Um, yeah, so eliminating meat should not be too big of a problem. And the reason some people are addicted to eating meat is because it makes them feel good, it makes them feel stronger, it makes them feel like they have more energy, but they never question why that is. Even though we as humans aren't meant to uh, eat meat, we're not able to really digest it because our gut system, our stomach, is not meant to process or digest meat. Um, we still eat it because we feel a little bit better and it's because it has all these neurotransmitters that the animals before they were killed had and because we're not able to produce our own because our adrenals are down our whole body is is clogged so we're dependent it's, it's a stimulant we're dependent on these neurotransmitters for meat to feel good instead of going to the actual cause of us not be, being able to feel good uh, and cleansing our body and then being able to on our own produce these neurotransmitters and hormones that we need. We are actually addicted to meat and yeah that's, that's a big step for most people because a lot of us will feel not so great after we stop eating meat but 
I really suggest that we do so because then we can start the process of actually being able to produce all these things that we need for ourselves and we would be able to stop clogging our body with waste and acids. So meat is, is a good way. Eliminating meat is a very good way to go. And after meat, I suggest eliminating grain. And first, maybe eliminate the gluten uh, grains, like wheat, and there are many others, but you can start with just eating gluten-free grains and then eliminating them all together while you're on um, your detox journey. And the last thing I would eliminate would be beans. Beans are very hard to digest for the body and they're very acidifying as are grains. And um, it, it's hard to convince people that they don't need beans and some people say, oh, you need protein, but protein is much harder to digest for the body. Actually, it's unusable to the body because we need amino acids, which are components of proteins, and those are the only ones that our body can readily use. Otherwise, it has to break down all the proteins, use a lot of energy to break down these proteins so our body can use them. But um, uh, if we just ate fruit and veggies, they're full of amino acids, we would get all the amino acids that, that our body needs. And so yeah, I was just eliminating grains and beans later on. And um, yeah, so I've given you some tips on what kind of foods you should bring into your diet, which ones you should eliminate, but in the end, the best detox diet is 100% raw diet with high fruit, raw fruit content, and um, also if you want, you can uh, eat while you're transitioning some nuts and seeds, but make sure to soak them so that they're much more easy, easily digestible by, by the body. And um, I think that this journey is not simple. It's important to not be hard on ourselves, no matter where we are on this journey, and to start from where we can start from. So not everybody can be 100% raw right away. I hope this video has helped you and that you'll find useful information in it and uh, thank you so much for listening and hope to see you soon. Bye!